Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm delving into a topic that many of us might find difficult to discuss. The common feelings of guilt and shame associated with pet loss. Losing a beloved pet can be an emotionally challenging experience and the accompanying guilt and shame of it all can intensify the grieving process. In this video, we'll explore these emotions and provide practical tips to help overcome grief and alleviate feelings of guilt. Before we dive into the tips, let's explore why guilt and shame often accompany pet loss. First, unanswered questions. Feeling guilty about the circumstances surrounding a pet's death is common, especially if there are unanswered questions or if the decision-making process is clouded with doubt. This may resonate well with you or with those of you that have experienced poisoning of their pets or an accident involving your pet. If you can relate, hit that like button. Second, responsibility and regret. Pet owners may feel responsible for their pet's well-being, leading to overwhelming guilt and regret if their pet becomes ill or passes away. I feel like most of us, if not all of us as pet owners, wrestle with this feeling as our fur babies are an extension of the best part of ourselves. After all, pets are family and oftentimes our best friends. Euthanasia decisions. Choosing to euthanize a pet is an agonizing decision that can leave pet owners grappled with guilt, even if it was the most compassionate choice to make. I know I wrote about my own experience wrestling with the guilt after my cat Dusty passed away. I'll leave a link to that blog post down below. Guilt is one of the most common and most gut-wrenching emotions that picks at us during the whole grieving process. But hang in there because I've got some tips to help. A few practical tips to help overcome grief and the feelings of guilt and shame First, allow yourself to grieve. Understand that grief is a natural part of the healing process. Give yourself permission to feel the emotions without judgment. Remember, there is no time limit on grief. Everyone does so on their own timetable. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone else. Each person's grief journey is different. Second, seek support. Share your feelings with friends, family, or support group. Sometimes expressing your emotions can help alleviate the burden of guilt. Whether that means joining a Facebook support group or seeing a therapist or just getting together with friends in a constructive manner to get your mind off of grief are all healthy ways to help navigate your grief journey. Focus on the positive memories instead of dwelling on the circumstances of the loss. Concentrate on the positive memories and the love you shared with your pet. If it's one thing our pets knew how to do, it was make us smile. And as they have transitioned on, I know that our pets would want us to learn to heal and move forward and continue to live life. They are the best examples to show us how to enjoy life and savor every minute and enjoy the simple things. So let's honor their memory by keeping their memory alive and continuing to live life and find a new normal. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. And last, professional counseling. Sometimes talking to a friend is just not enough. Recognize when it's time to consider seeking the help of a grief counselor or a therapist specializing in pet loss. If your grief has turned into depression to the point where it inhibits your mental health, your hygiene, your job, or your social interactions with family and friends to the point of causing concern, don't hesitate to get professional help. Guidance from a professional can provide valuable insights and coping strategies. And a bonus tip, create a memorial. Establishing a memorial or dedicating a space to your pet can be a therapeutic way to honor their memory and process your emotions. From scrapbooks to digital memories, pet memorial gardens and home decor, there are many ways you can honor your pet. 
As a pet parent, I understand wrestling with those emotions of guilt and sadness after losing a beloved furry family member. So I hope these tips provided you with some validation, comfort, and renewed confidence to navigate your grief journey. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and be sure to share it with a friend. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, take care of yourself and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.